We are here today uh, to launch of the number of things. First, the oxygen plant, which we have just done, which we have just uh, uh, commissioned. And for me, it is really congratulations to this uh, hospital. I think that the members of the press have uh, impressed us and been covering intensely about the issue of oxygen in the country. And I would like to say that this is not something that started uh, lately. As far back as uh, April of last year, we started discussing and talking about the importance that oxygen supply was going to play into the future as COVID-19 intensified uh, in the country. But I think it is also important for us to appreciate that oxygen is not just important for COVID-19. It is also important in all ICUs for various conditions because essentially it deals with the issue of um, respiratory issues and those can come in many forms. And uh, this plant is really a true indicator of how proactiveness can save lives in the health sector. The 35 million project was installed to retire an old plant that had run its course, and this is a new one. The new plant has a production capacity of 480 liters per minute and capability to refill eight oxygen cylinders every two hours, translating to 96 cylinders in 24 hours. I'm also pleased to officially open the new 10-unit uh, renal dialysis center. And this is a real development and a real happening. There was a time, ladies and gentlemen, when in the whole country we didn't even have this capacity. And, they, and not just in terms of numbers, but in terms of the modernity of the equipment. And so once again, I want to congratulate the Meru County government for uh, doing an excellent job in ensuring that people who are critically ill do not have to wait and then be transported to Nairobi or other facilities. That the county has a satellite blood transfusion center that ensures the availability of blood. Again, you know, this, these are the issues, these are the things that we really call development. This is real progress. And I think that as you explained it, this is the first time in the history of Kenya, in the history of this county, that you have been able to deal with blood issues. Is the first time that people have got a specific blood area, the first time that we can uh, package and store over 12,000 liters of, uh, of, of blood in this region. And it is very, very helpful. And I don't think we quite understand, a lot of people may not quite understand, just the, just the happening the event that has occurred with this blood transfusion uh, plant here, including the fact that from blood itself, when you give a liter of blood, a lot of other products are produced from that liter of, of blood. We need also, we are addressing the issue of medical supplies due to delays, and I can assure you that uh, this is something that uh, at headquarters, uh, you will soon begin to see a lot of changes in that area. We are also very grateful uh because we have a Mondan, the one that we just opened, a Renault Dialysis Center that became operational in 2020. This was an upgrade to the already existing five unit dialysis machines that have been set up in 2015. And this has seen the number of dialysis patients attended increase from an initial eight patients per day to a, min to a minimum of 24, 24 patients dialyzed on a daily basis. The Renault unit caters for patients from neighboring, neighboring counties Isiolo, Marisabit, and parts of Laikipia, and even Darak, and even Darakanivi. So um, down here, Waziri, Kagwe, we are constructing a new ward block, of course, with the support also from the with support from the national government. It's a more than two for the bed uh, story ward block. And once this is completed, by end of this year, there is a phase two which will commence immediately thereafter. And the phase two will have an additional five-story building that is going to increase the capacity by another 240 bands. So indeed, we are going to have a complete wing that will be the mother and the child wing of Mero Teaching and Referral Hospital. We've been able to vaccinate 25,600 patients, or rather not patients, sorry, 600 people with AstraZeneca, the first dose, we got the second dose, only 10,000 doses, and that has also 
you know, we have vaccinated 10,000 people. We are requesting, Waziri, I know you are doing a lot in that area. We are requesting if you are able to get more doses because there's quite a bit of pressure from the, the people who got the first dose. So the balance of the about 15,000 or 16,000, there's quite a bit of pressure you know, from those people who want the second dose. And of course, also others who want to get new doses. 